Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and I've got a new bundle to show you. It's called Frosted Forest. It's an online exclusive, which means it's only available online. You won't find it in any catalog. It's available to everyone. Um, exclusive just means it's exclusively on the website. So uh, it's a really interesting bundle. Not only does it have the stamps and the dies, but it has these masks and I love using masks and I haven't done masks in a long time. And when I started playing with these, I couldn't stop. It's so fun. I'm going to give you a few tips on how to use these and, um, and we're going to make this card right here. It's pretty simple. Um, on the inside, I've added a little uh, extra zhuzh to make it fancy on the inside. Um, I also have two other Frosted Forest videos for you. So if you are watching on YouTube, make sure you click the link, go back to my blog and check those out. Okay, so we're, when you create your trees, you can stamp and then use the mask or you can just use the mask. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, um, I am using something called a sticky sheet, and I'm going to link this on my blog. I found it on Amazon. It's really cool. It just holds your stuff in place, which is really awesome. You don't have to use any tape or anything. Um, and here is my tip for you, okay? I, <laughs> when I first played with these, I did them backwards. I didn't realize. I mean, you can't really tell that they're backwards. I wasn't paying attention. There's this little notch here. It needs to be on the left side. Um, if you'll look closely, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says A, B, and C. That kind of shows you what order to go in, and it shows you what side to face up. There's no real problem with doing them upside down, except if you want to use the dies, because the dies won't match up with them if the mask, if you use the mask upside down. So learn from my mistake and uh, make sure your notch is on the left. Now, all right, we're going to make these trees. We're going to do two of the big ones and one of the small ones. We're actually going to die cut two of them and then we're going to do one of them on the card base. All right, so I have labeled my masks. I'm going to start right here with the light color first. Um, I am using Old Olive and I am using my blending brushes and we have two sizes of blending brushes. They both work. It's just a matter of which one you grab or which one you prefer. Now, my light color is Old Olive and I'm just going to rub that on there. And you don't want to go too hard or too dark because then your next layer won't show up as well. So go kind of light. All right, and then pick that up and you're going to get your next mask, which I have right here. And you're going to line this up. Remember, make sure that notch is on the left side and cover up basically what you have already done. Um, you're taking your mask and just covering that up as best you can, okay? Take some wiggling usually to get that just right. Okay, now my darker color is gonna be Old Olive. I'm sorry, we just did Old Olive. My darker color is gonna be Mossy Meadow. All right, now I'm just gonna go over this. Get that dark color on there and then carefully pick that up. Now, can you see the dimension? Isn't that neat? All right, the last layer is the snow and I'm gonna set that on there. And the snow is just kind of, I don't even know how to describe it, just kind of blobs on the tree. So line your mask up as best as you can. There's no like perfect setup, I don't think because it's kind of abstract. So get it on there. And I'm using a dauber this time and craft white ink. And I'm just gonna go around and daub, dab that white on top of there. Okay. There we go. Now, <clears throat> let's pick that up carefully, and there's our beautiful trees. All right, now we're going to do it one more time on our card front. And this time, I am only going to use the larger tree, and I want it kind of in this area right here. So I'm going to set that down. Again, old olive. Okay. 
Okay. And then we've got the darker one. You want to cover up what you've just done. There we go. Get your darker color, Mossy Meadow. And beautiful. And then last but not least, your Craft White Snow. Now, I have found that I can use my masks about two or three times before that color starts to leak underneath and I have to go clean them again. So if you're doing a bunch of these, be careful um, because about the third or fourth time with the crafting, I find that it has kind of seeped underneath and I have to go clean it. And all you have to do to clean it is just go run it under some water in your sink. And the, the ink will come right off. The, the classic ink will come off pretty quickly. The white ink needs a little bit, usually I have to rub it with my hand. All right, so let's pick that up and see how it looks. Beautiful. All right, now these are gonna take some time to dry because you're using craft ink. So for the sake of the video, I have actually done these ahead of time. So we can go ahead and move on once they're dry. Here's our, our card front and our two trees. Grab my cut and emboss machine and we're gonna cut these two out with the coordinating dies. Get them lined up, check all the sides, make sure all the points are in the right place. Let's put our card together. It's easy from this point. Whoa, knocking things around over here. All right, before I put my trees on, I'm gonna stamp my greeting. And I'm just gonna do the little thank you in um, pecan pie. I'm gonna do that down here like that. It's a beautiful little scripty font. And let's see, do I have dimensionals? I've got just a few left on this sheet. one up like that and let's see we're gonna use this one right here let's see and we're gonna put that one kind of in the front like that now another thing that I like to do is to take a, either pool party which is what I'm using here or um, balmy light balmy blue and go under and put in just a little bit of a shadow underneath your trees like that. All right, and I have these awesome little um, ribbon. They're called uh, clear and pecan ribbon, ribboned adhesive back dots. <laughs> they have a big name. And we're just gonna put a few like that. Now, the front is very simple. So let's make the inside a little bit fancy. I've got some of our new um, Christmas vellum, another online exclusive. I can't remember the name off it, of it off the top of my head, so check that supply list over on my blog. It'll have the measurements for these pieces as well. And then just a little piece of basic white and a piece of early espresso, and there you go. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this project. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog, uh, get that free PDF, and check out the other two Frosted Forest projects that I have. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.